Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring edition. Um, in our last video, wind swipe, <laughs> we had several challenges uh, with my paint consistency and weather conditions, meaning the wind. Um, somebody had said something really funny, Arisa Rue. She's so funny. She said, I don't think that was Gail. I think that was her big brother, Gusty Storm. <laughs> It was so funny. So we had some challenges and that piece didn't go as I wanted. So we're going to do it again tonight. I have some changes in mind. First of all, we're using a bigger canvas. This is a 24 by 36, which is what I originally wanted to do, but I didn't. And I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to show you my colors real fast. And my consistency is much thinner tonight. I am not using Liquitex Gloss Medium in my paint. I have GAC 800 and Floetrol. So this first one is Amsterdam permanent blue violet and it is not very thick it is leaving a slight mound and sinking pretty much right away so very very thin I have added some water to some of these to make them all the same consistency that's my decor Americana decor metallics in 24 karat gold mound on a mound then sinking right away so you get the idea this one is Pevio Studios iridescent blue green beautiful color so shimmery and I'm really looking forward to the contrast between all of those. This is Artist Loft Silver. Very, very pretty as well. Now here we have Liquitex Permanent Blue Violet and I brought out the tube so you can see. So this is interesting. This one is the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet and this is Liquitex Permanent Blue Violet. And if you look at the color difference here, these are these two. It's really interesting. This one's a lot more pink, a lot more like Golden's Permanent Violet Deep, whereas this one's more like Dioxazine Purple. So I thought that was cool, and I want to use both of these tonight. So this is the Amsterdam, no, this is the Liquitex Quinacridone Blue Violet, and this one is Amsterdam Blue Violet. This one is Golden's Anthroquinone Blue, in honor of my sweet Sarah, who I always think of every time I use this. <laughs> She did the most beautiful piece yesterday with the snowflakes and the house paint. It was just gorgeous. And this last one here is my Amsterdam uh, Black. I believe this is lamp black. And this is much thinner than these. I've added water several times to it. As again, mixed with GAC 800 and Floetrol and a lot more water than these. So the swipe color is thinner than all those colors. Okay, so... And I have my, a couple of you guys were so sweet. You were like, you know, you could put a rock down and it would hold the paper towels and you wouldn't have to be like, so my elephant friend is helping us hold our paper towels tonight. And I think, I don't even want to say her name. You know who has gone <laughs> visiting family or something. <laughs> okay. Because she's not here right now, which is awesome. All right. So plan of action is we're going to put down some stripes of paint on here. And then we're going to swipe it. But I'm going to be using bigger pieces of paper towel this time. And I actually am not going to dip it like Julie Cuts did because my pieces of paper are much bigger. So, let's see. We're going to be swiping this way. So do I want to just kind of go crazy with it or do I want to do nice uniform Capricorn stripes? What do you think? Get crazy, baby. Get crazy with it. All right. Let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> We're gonna put down some paint. Okay. Let's use some of this one now. Silver. And some of our iridescent blue green. And now we're going to use 
Naples, Amsterdam, for a minute, Blue Violet. Okay, we're gonna tilt this out a little bit. Is that my colors? So hopefully this will be moving uniformly now. And at this point, we're just doing this to cover the canvas. We want to get all those bald spots covered. I'm not looking to take anything off yet. Okay, we're going to go off this side. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Go down off of that bottom edge and that side. I think we've got the whole thing covered now. So I don't actually want to leave too much paint on here because I do have GAC 800 in my paint. So it's already going to stay very fluid. So I just want to make sure that there's not too much on there. I don't think that it's going to crack, but it's already going to take a long time to dry because of the fluidity. Oh look, we have cells popping up already. <laughs> Hopefully that will happen on top of it after we swipe as well. And it should this time, it should work. See, this is the cool thing to me about pouring is that you can do something and it may not work, but you learn something. And when you learn something, then the next time you do it again, you apply those things that you've learned. So, I mean, at least that's how I work. <laughs> I'm the kind of, what is it, what do you say, those, a mule, do you have to hit them between the eyes? With a big old stick. Yeah, two by four. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Now, move those over too. We'll bring these over. So, I don't think I want to bother spraying them or anything like that. I think I'm just going to put a line of black down the center. That's not very neat. And we're going to swipe through that. I'm going to fix that. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Okay. We're going to go right through the middle. We're going to go off the edge just a little bit. Make sure we have good contact. And just going to pull this back. That's pretty cool. I like it. Look at all those cells. Yay. It's working. <laughs> all right, same thing. Into the black. Let it get good contact. There's a bubble there. Okay. I'm just gonna pull it back. Nice and easy. That's very cool. Okay. I'm not sure why this is happening. Just bubbles underneath, I guess. gloves. Okay. Getting it over here. Yeah. That one didn't work so 
we're good. Let's try that again. Let's put a tiny bit more black over here. Much better. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. I love these multicolored cells. Awesome. Okay, let's turn this around. <laughs> I love squares. That's so cool. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing right over here. Actually, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of black right here. Probably should have torched it before I did this, huh? We'll come back and get that in a minute. Okay, that's looking really awesome. <laughs> Let's torch it real quick. Okay, that's really cool. 
I really like that. That's kind of awesome. I think I'm going to leave that just like that. What do you think? It's awesome. Cool. Okay. There's a bubble right there. All right, I don't see anything that's like screaming out to me to fix it other than this. I might just put some black on the edge here. I think that's about it. So I will go around and clean up my edges and the sides and make sure everything is all covered up and nice and tidy. And uh, I'll show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being with me. And, you know, I hope that you guys take something away from this and that, you know, nothing is permanent. Don't ever say you can't do something because the only thing that's holding you back is the knowledge of what you actually need to do to make it work. So in this case, I figured out my paint was too thick. And we did it again, and it worked amazing. So this was awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys when it's dry. Okay, so <laughs> it's a little different than when you last saw it. Um, this obviously was not what I had in mind. <laughs> that being said, it's kind of a beautiful hot mess. I mean, there are some really, really beautiful parts. I do love these colors, but if you look, and we did maintain some cell structure in here. But this is what happens to me when there's too much Floetrol. So this recipe was the Floetrol and the GAC 800 and a lot of water. And you can see it like all poofed. And bad things happened. <laughs> bad in terms of it's not what I wanted to happen. But... Uh, yeah, this is this has definitely become an odyssey now. <laughs> so I will be trying different recipes and trying to get this to actually work. Um, I might actually be trying to get the results that Julie Cuts gets with silicone without using silicone, and that may not be entirely possible. Um, but I think I could definitely improve on this. <laughs> so. This is my beautiful hot mess. And, uh, you know, doesn't always work the way you want. But that's okay, because it's all a learning opportunity, learning process. There are some really cool parts in here, though. So, yeah, just Floetrol and GAC by itself doesn't work as well for me with this technique. Um, I know Kathleen Osmore uses GAC and Floetrol, and she gets some absolutely magnificent pieces. But then I've never seen her quite do a swipe quite like this one. So hers are more on a base coat with one line, and she swipes the one or two lines, and it's really, really beautiful. So this was a, a lot of paint, a lot more than she uses. And I think I just probably didn't... I mean, there was nothing with binders in there holding the paint and the pouring medium together, really, for the small amount of GAC that was in those cups, an ounce for a 16 ounce cup. So it's about an ounce of paint and about 10 ounces or 11 ounces of Floetrol. 
this is what happens when there's way too much flow troll with me. I don't know what happens with you guys, but this is what happens for me. <laughs> so, we will be doing this again. <laughs> I'm determined to get this right. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. I appreciate your hanging out with us and all your lovely comments. And, uh, you know, you guys are awesome. So, stay tuned. There are more coming. <laughs> Have a beautiful day.